All right, guys, welcome back to the channel. Today we're going to be unboxing the Coolant's uh, 390Ci CPU water block. So, Coolant's uh, does water cooling stuff for professionals as well as enthusiasts when it comes to either uh, PC water cooling or uh, other types of applications. Um, I really like the aesthetic of the Coolant's blocks versus the more mainstream stuff that you're seeing right now, like EK and Alpha Cool. Uh, so I decided I was going to go with this Coolant's um, CPU block and GPU block for a custom loop that I'm working on for my personal rig. Um, so in the box you get some screws. These are going to be uh, to put on your other stuff, which is in here. So you got your thumb screws and your uh, springs, which are going to give you the right amount of tension. As well as the screws that go through the back plate, I do believe. As well as some watchers and some thumb nuts. Uh, they do also include thermal compound there in case you need that. I do not like using stuff that OEM provides, generally conductive, not always, but generally. Um, and I don't like using it. So, wow, that's really, really heavy. Um, which, I mean, I guess it should be. It's an all copper block that is nickel plated. So, yeah. You got a sticker on there, which I'm not going to remove until it's time to use it. And you got the top plate there. Brilliant. And very, very shiny. So, set that aside for the moment. So, there's only a couple more things here in the box. Which is going to be... Back plates. So, I believe this is an AMD back plate. And then this is a... Uh, rubber isolator which you'll use which regardless of which backplate you use but then this is the Intel backplate which has a bunch of different holes for the different sockets that you might use whether it be um, LJ1366 uh, 1150X so any of the 1155, 1156, 1150, 1151 all through that there's another one now 2011 doesn't require a backplate so I don't think it's that maybe it's LJ775 but I'm not exactly sure that they would be supporting that, considering how old it is. So with that stuff out of the way, I have some fittings that I ordered, which we can throw into the block and see how that looks. They're nickel to match the finish on there. Now um, these are EK fittings. I'm going with hardline tubing, and um, for the tubing sizes that I'm using, EK has the most consistency in the blocks that they make or the, the fittings that they make, so I went with some EK ones. Uh, I got some 16 and some 12 mil, so we're just going to start with the 16. We'll do it into the inlet here. Just go ahead and screw that in. And that's what she looks like. It's pretty sweet. Right, take that out, and I do have two of the uh, 12 millimeters, so we'll be able to actually put on both of those. Second. Trying not to lose the little rubber ring so I don't have to order more of those before this. Wouldn't be the end of the world. I have a lot of other stuff I need to order still as well, anyways. But, um, yeah. I need you guys to tell me what you want to see on the channel. I'm going to be getting a bunch of stuff here soon. Probably 8700K um, and a motherboard to go with it. So there's the 12 mil fittings on there. Looks pretty good, I think. But um, please let me know what you want to see. Thank you very much for watching, and I'll catch you guys next time.